pipe sizing when there's more than one appliance on the system. The first thing you've got to work out is what you need to know. And you only need to know three things. The amount of gas that you need to be delivered through the pipe, the length of the pipe and the amount of fittings there are, and very importantly, when you're talking about multiple appliance, the number of appliances on the system. Now the previous lectures worked on a very simple one appliance pipe sizing exercise and this time we're going to add a gas fire to the system. So the customer previously had that, she now wants a gas fire fitted and this is what you've done. You've put a T piece in and you've piped up a gas fire. But you need to know the correct size of pipe to use. So the first thing you do when you've got more than one appliance is you select or you give a letter to the most important points and the points are the meter, any T junctions and any appliances. So we've got A at the meter, B at the first T junction, C at the fire, and D is the boiler. They're your four main points that you're going to work with. And what you need to do is, you need to pipe size individually each of these little sections. So in, in this lesson, this first one, I'm going to show you how to pipe size between A and B. All right, we've just chosen that section to pipe size, A to B. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to pipe size B to C and from B to D. So here we go. In order to work out how much gas is needed, you have to work out the demand going through the pipe. That means how many appliances are taking gas from that pipe. So the easiest way of doing that is take the pipe away and work out which appliances would not be able to run because they're not getting any gas. And in this case, if I take the pipe A to B away, that's what that's the one we're we're pipe sizing, and I blanked off where I've taken the pipe away, then neither of the appliances would get any gas. So therefore, the gas that runs through the pipe at A to B has got to service both of those appliances. So we know from the previous lectures that we need to know how many meters cubed per hour the appliances demand. And in this case, the boiler is two meters cubed per hour and the fire is 0.75 meters cubed per hour. That's the amount of gas they need to be able to operate properly. So we know that A to B needs to supply 2.75 meters cubed per hour. The next thing you need to know is the length of the pipework. In this example you've got three meters of copper running down, you've got four meters of copper running after the bend, and you've got the bend itself. So we've got three meters plus four meters plus 0.5 of a meter allowance for the bend. Every bend, uh, every, my apologies, for the elbow. Every elbow and every T piece, you add 0.5 of a meter to your calculation. So in this, between A and B, we're not counting the T piece at B. That will be counted later on when we pipe size between B and D. And you only use a fitting once in your calculations. 
So on this we've got A to B 3 meters plus 4 meters plus 0.5 of a meter and that equals 7.5 meters. That's the length of pipework that we need to pass the gas through. Now here's the main difference between a multiple appliance system and a single appliance system. With a multiple appliance system you take that length 7.5 in this case and you simply times it by the amount of appliances on the system. I could explain why but it would just be confusing. Just take my word for it. All you do is you multiply the length of the pipe that you've got by the amount of appliances on the system. In this case you multiply the length by 2. 7.5 times 2 is 15 meters. Now you've got the two numbers that you need to do your pipe sizing. You've got 15 meters of pipe and you've got 2.75 meters cubed per hour to go through it. They're the only two numbers you need to pipe size. You then go to your chart in the Viper book and it will show you the size of pipe that you need. Here's the chart. You go across the top. We know that we had 15 meters of pipe. We go down the column to the first number then that is bigger than 2.75. In this case it's 3.4. And all we do then is we go back along and it shows us the size of pipework that we need to be using. And in this case, it's 22 millimeters.